Well, hey everyone, it's Shani. And I have to apologize, last week I had no videos posted and it's not because I didn't try, because I tried over and over and over again. I'm having trouble with my um, editing. I use CapCut for my editing and I cannot get this video to upload and I have tried and tried and tried and tried and finally I just said you know what forget it so I do not have a watch sold for now it's going to be two weeks ago I'm going to try and get a watch sold for last week um I can maybe try and give you some numbers in just a minute but I did go shopping at the Goodwill on Sunday today is Tuesday morning and I went shopping at the Goodwill. So I thought I just have a few pieces here. So I figured I would do a video kind of like a like a mix up video. I'll kind of give you some numbers in just a bit and then I will show you real fast what I got at the Goodwill. And then I went thrifting yesterday. I had a thrift day. And so that might be another video. I might tack it on to this one. I don't know, but I've been a little flustered just because I had recorded the same watch sold over and over again, thinking, okay, well, this video is too long. I just can't get it to, you know, download or whatever, upload, what, <laughs> whatever, you know what I mean? Um, so anyway, I redid it. Um, I made it shorter. I actually got interrupted, so it ended up being two videos. One was perfect. It went on there quickly. The other one, I just cannot get. So, I don't know what's going on. If you have any pointers for me, let me know. But otherwise, I will just um, try and piece together a video for you this week. Hopefully, I'll have two because I need to sit down and do my numbers for last week. Um... Yeah, so anyway, I, yeah, so Sunday I went to the Goodwill. I have not been going as much just because I hate my cost of goods prices there. So, but I went thinking only buy good stuff, Shannon, only buy good stuff. <laughs> and you know how it is. But anyway, I only have a few pieces. I feel like I was selective. I feel like it was a... I did not leave thinking, oh, I got really good stuff. I really never do. I really never leave the Goodwill here thinking I've got really good stuff. And um, it makes me sort of sad. But anyway, the first piece is an H&M dress. And H&M, there are some pieces that will sell very well for H&M. And then most pieces that you get are going to be... Um, cheaper items and so I got two H&M dresses I think they were pretty now if you search H&M dress you are gonna see solds from two dollars clear up to eighty dollars or even clear up to I saw one for four hundred dollars because it was a collaboration so it really depends on the dress so you'll have to like try and look up the style for sure um but these I thought were very pretty. I did not look up the exact style, but this is a size large, so it was a good um, a good size. And then it only cost me $6.10. So there's the H&M logo. You probably, most of you know that. But this is a midi, um, a midi length dress. Yeah, it's midi length. I would not call it maxi. Um, it's floral, it's kind of like that shimmery, and the waist has this gathering to um, kind of cinch in your waist a little bit. I thought it was really pretty. It's a great fall piece, and so that is the reason I got it. Um, picture this as it starts getting colder, wear boots and a cardigan with it. It just, it's really, really pretty. See that material? I'm sort of an, I'm mostly an extra large, but um, my husband and I are going to Chicago here in two weeks for our 19th wedding anniversary. And I really kind of wanted to try and find a dress, um, to sort of dress up for dinner one night. And yeah, 
Um, so I don't know that this will fit me. I might try it on because I thought it was really pretty and it would be awesome with boots. So anyway, and then I got a second one, second H&M. I loved this dress. I thought it was really pretty. I mean, I think they're both really pretty, but um, let me button it for you to show you. So another H&M, it was also $6.10. It is a size 12. It is also midi length. It's green, floral, isn't that really pretty? Um, I don't know. I might try, I might try it. The neck has this a double snap and then it has a cutout but it was just really, it's, I don't know, I love it. It feels like kind of like a polyester to where it's not super heavy. Let me see here. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, it's 100% polyester. So anyway, I think I'll get my money back for sure. I think these both, they're just... Let me see if I can see the year. Does H&M put the year on them? I don't know if they do or not. A lot of them do. So a lot of times you can look on the tags and they'll tell you what year it was um, produced in. I do not see a year on this. So if you guys know and I don't, I don't buy H&M a whole lot. Yeah, I don't see what. So I will definitely look these pieces up. Um, if I find them, I'll, I'll put a screenshot hopefully for you. So the next piece, I always go through the kid section. It's, it was $4 and 74 cents. So you know what the, it was blue day. Nope. I was going to say blues were half off. I don't think I got any blues y'all. Um, but look at this. It looks like a vintage little jumpsuit, right? And it has deer. It's kind of like that smocked design with deer, but when I saw the tag, it was baby Bowden, size six to 12 months. And I, um, this is, I need to get this listed. I'm gonna try to get all of these pieces listed today. And I've, I've not been doing good on my five listings a day, guys. It, I was on call last week. I came off call Friday with my full-time job. I'm a full-time hospice on-call nurse. So I came off, my seven days off started Friday morning at 8 p.m. And this weekend, I've just, I mean, I've posted things. I've just been, I don't know, I've just been out of it. And um, I know for me, since I do have a full-time job and I do this part-time, sometimes I just have to set this aside and give myself a break. I would love for this to be full-time, but it's not and I have a full-time committed job with benefits. <laughs> so I have to focus on that job. I mean, that is my priority. And so sometimes when I am just needing to give my brain a break, um, I just kind of take some time off and I've had to do that and that's okay. Um, I feel guilty and I kind of come down on myself for that, but I just, yeah, at the end of the day, I have to, give myself a break and tell myself it's okay to rest. So anyway, um, but I've been thrifting and I've got to get this stuff listed. So I have, cause I've promised myself I will never have a death pile like I had like a year ago. So um, anyway, but yes, this is a baby Bowden and I will try and put my listing up here for you so you can see how much I listed that for. It's in great condition, all the snaps work, they're all there and just a cute little piece, right? And then I got two pairs of these tights. They are very small. This is a size small. I think this one is a size, no, this is a size small. So what I might do is, look how small these are. The elastic is great, but if you know this brand, it is um, CMX, CWX, sorry, CWX. This is it. Don't skip on these. Don't skip on them, um, especially if you can get them low enough. That These were $4.88 a piece. And 
what they are is they're running tights and they're great running tights. They're expensive running tights. So I have this pair and then I have this pair. They had a little bit, like this one still has the strings on the inside. This one didn't. And so I think, cause these are missing. So I think when I bought these, I was like, I could pair these up together. This one is definitely probably in better condition. Um, but for 488, it's a steal really. I, I will definitely um, get my money back. I have my computer right here. So I'll try and put my, um, my post on here too, but let's just look them up. C W X women's running tights. Um, one pair, twenty nine forty one sold. Um, twenty six ninety nine sold. Twenty five sold. Fifty nine dollars sold. Twenty five dollars. Twenty eight dollars. See what I mean? So this is a great brand. Okay, this exact brand. This exact model with all the colors, it was a bid. Sometimes um, you can do yourself like a disservice by doing auction style listings, um, but they bought it with a buy it now price of $17 instead of a bid. There was one that sold for $40, $20, $49. So I think you get, here's a new one, brand new, $98 sold sold $98. This is how expensive they are if you buy them new. So I think since this one does have some wear and it does because there's some, you can see the fabric pilling and I'm just going to put that in my listing, but I'm going to um, do them. I'm going to sell them both. One is just a tad bit longer than the others. Um, so I think I'm going to list them together since they're the same size. They had two others that I almost bought, they were 488 also, but they um, were pretty worn. And I was like, mm. I could have like added it to them. One was an extra small though. And uh, I just didn't, I didn't want to waste money really, just to try and spice it up a bit. So I just bought those two. And then the last thing I got from Goodwill, I do, um, I like to look at the blazers, and if you follow the hustle couple, um, if you don't follow them, follow them. Um, I've learned so much over the last few years from them, but Dan from the hustle couple, he knows his blazers, <laughs> and like he's actually the one that kind of got me started on like making myself look at blazers because I don't, I know nothing about blazers. Um, but I do find myself, I will research them more and comp them. And I've, I've sold some blazers now. Um, so I'm getting better at it, but I saw this one and this first, I always look here. This one says made in Canada. And then I open this up. I think it's like a collaboration. It's a Copley but then it's also a collaboration, I believe, with Angelico, and this is made in Italy. So I, I think it's a collaboration when they do that. And so it's a nice, nice navy. It's a wool, and I call this a sports jacket more than anything. It's kind of a thinner um, material, but anyway, comps for this are kind of all over the place. Like one sold for a hundred and dollars and sixteen, a hundred and sixteen, and then there's been some sold for it's. I haven't seen a lot of this collaboration, but I've seen where um, forties, fifties, sixties. Um, so I don't know where I'll price mine. I mean, it's in great condition, but I might just price it at, you know. $75 and, and see if I get an offer and then lower it or something. But I only paid $9.36 for this. So I thought that was um, a good price, especially for a really nice blazer. So if you ever see blazers that say made in Italy, always look them up um, because you probably have a blazer that you could make some money on. So 
Anyway, that's the five, one, two, three, four, six items from Goodwill. And I will gather my stuff and try and do kind of a short what sold for now a couple weeks ago looking back. So, well, hello, I'm back. So, I since my what solds did not, um, I cannot get my video to upload for you guys. Um, I'm just kind of going to break it down in a quick little video for you. Uh, my week of August the 26th, which was a Monday through September the 1st, which was Sunday. So I do my what solds, my kind of week tally. I start on Monday and end on Sunday because for me, I want that weekend together to be together. Um, it just makes sense to me. So that's how I do it. Um, you can do it however you want, but that is how I do it. So, and usually Mondays are pretty slow for me. So the momentum through the week kind of builds or at least in my, in my brain, that's what it should be. <laughs> anyway, although this Monday was really great. Um, so on Monday the 26th, I had five sales, but seven items went out. Um, I, I had two eBay sales. I had two Posh, Poshmark sales. One was a bundle of three items. And then I had one Facebook Marketplace local sale. And on Tuesday the 27th, I had four sales. I had one Facebook shipping sale. I had two Poshmark sales and one eBay sale. On Wednesday the 29th, I had two sales. That was my lowest sell day, um, was that Wednesday. And I had one Mercari sell, which was, man, I think I had another Mercari sell through this week, but Mercari just, I don't know. I know other resellers have the same issue with Mercari, but it's like, seriously, come on. Um, and then I had an eBay sell. Um, on Thursday the 29th, I had three items. One Poshmark, two eBay. On Friday the 30th, I had five sales. One, two, three, four, five, yes. One, um, two Facebook sales. One was a shipping Facebook and one was a local pickup. I had another Mercari sale and then I had two eBay sales. So Friday the 30th was a great day. I started my full-time job at 5 p.m. on Friday. Um, I did not post a lot on Friday either. And then Saturday rolled around the 31st. I had four sales. I had a Facebook pickup, a Poshmark sale, and an eBay sale. And that was only three. Where's my fourth? Oh, another Poshmark. So I had two Poshmark, a Facebook, and an eBay on Saturday the 31st. And then Sunday the 1st, September 1st, I had five sales, which was a great Sunday. Um, one was a Facebook pickup, um, a Facebook shipping, and then one Etsy and two eBay. So Etsy is another one that I'm, I've really, I'm really trying on Etsy. And I say that, and then this last week I had three Etsy sales. So. I do feel like the more you're active in it, but it just stinks because you know, you're paying that 20 cents initial <laughs> fee. But anyway, at the end of that week, I had 28 cells, I wanna say. So five, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26, 28 cells, I sold 30 items. And my net profit was $366.41. So I'm unfortunately I'm not going to go through every day and tell you, tell you what I sold, like my other what solds, because I have just had really bad luck <laughs> with, with trying to do videos for this week. So, you know, the week before was my highest week in a long time. Um, and I really put in the work. I was very consistent. I had a really good um, handcrafted item that I sold for $150. So the week before, my net profit was $491. Um, and that was just amazing. 
Um, so, you know, 366 without a handcrafted item. <clears throat> I think that's amazing. I think I did, I, I had a great week. Um, I feel like this last week was a little bit slower because I was on call. Um, there was a couple days where I only posted one item for sale. Um, and I did not work like my Poshmark, my Poshmark VA. I like didn't, I didn't, I wasn't consistent with my goals on everything. So I do feel like when you skip that, um, it shows. So I don't know. I, I'm very happy with that week and hopefully, um, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't totaled up everything from this last week. I'm going to try and do that video for you and have it by the end of the week. But, um, anyway, yeah. So $366, like think of it this way, like that could pay an electric bill. Um, so if you are a part-time reseller or if you're thinking, Oh, can I do this? Um, anyone can do it. It's just, um, you know, having an understanding of what's selling, um, making sure you're looking up your, you know, your sell-through rate on items, uh, doing what we say, not what we do, because I can promise you that I do not comp things the way I should be comping things. Um, sometimes I go with my gut, and that sometimes your gut leads you wrong. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, so that's a little bit of a what sold, and hopefully I will um, show you some more goodies. Well, hey everyone, I am back. I have three bags of most most clothing items um, from my thrift trip yesterday. I went to a couple of my favorite thrift stores and they're about an hour away, but it's close to where my flea market booths are. And so I went there to spend the whole day rearranging my entire booths. If you have a flea market booth, one of the th the best things you could do every so often is go in and totally rearrange things. Um, don't just fill in places, like rearrange things, move things around, make those, you know, those loyal customers that come back week after week after week, make them stop and really look in your booth because they can tell that you have been there and you have redone things and you have probably bought brought more goodies so i like to do that every once in a while and i just haven't had the time in the last couple months so i had planned to go do that so i thought might as well stop at my favorite little thrift stores that are also down there so i did um i was really hoping to get some really good pieces I have told you guys recently in some um, some videos that I was approved to sell on whatnot, and I really want to try and do my first couple shows. I haven't scheduled them yet, but I'll let you know if I do. Um, I get I find a lot of mall brands, a lot of brands I just hate like good pieces. I hate to see go to the to the landfill or end up in the landfill. And yeah, so this is a good way for me to kind of move those items, maybe at a lower price point, but move them nonetheless. So anyway, one of my ideas for whatnot is to do a flannel show and like flannels for the family show. So I do have some flannels. I didn't find as many as I can normally find. I would really love to go to a Goodwill outlet before um, before starting whatnot, my whatnot shows. But anyway, people are looking for flannels right now. It's getting colder. I'm in Missouri. It's been really nice and chilly in the mornings, almost chilly in the mornings. And yeah, so... I didn't find anything like spectacular, but I found some stuff. Now, um, some of this I had in mind for whatnot only. Some of this is gonna be posted on 
my eBay and Poshmark closets, but anyway, let's get to it. So I'm having an afternoon Vietnamese coffee. If you guys know what Vietnamese coffee is, it's amazing. And one of my local stores started carrying a, it's like a instant Vietnamese coffee. You do a pour over on your cup and then you add the cream and it, it includes the cream with it and so tasty, so tasty. So, all right, so the first store I went to was um, Bag of Bargain. You guys have heard me talk about it. You Anything you can fit in a bag, Walmart size bag, for $10. You can see that I really stuffed it. Um, I actually had a glass in it that was falling out. So let's see what I got. Um, these I had passed by. I, I love glassware, but it just kind of tends to sit. But I had picked these up. They've got kind of a frosted, I don't know if that's like a wheat. I can't really tell what that is. Um, kind of a frosted floral motif of some sort. But when you look at the bottom, it says Italy. Um, right there. And I looked them up. There was a pair of these selling on eBay for $28. And I thought, you know, um, I, I just, they can fit in my bag. I might as well squeeze them in. So we'll see how much my cost of goods ends up being. I don't know exactly how many pieces of items I have. This is a vintage um, to-go jewelry container case. And it's still, a lot of times when you find these, the um, springs are broke and it's kind of just junk. Now, this side seems to be a little dirty just from people, you know, handling it. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to kind of clean it up and this will probably go in my flea market booth, but it was still in pretty good condition um, for being vintage. So I wanted to just grab it and see what I can do with it. Even if I just make a couple bucks. Um, there was, a cactus margarita glass. I have sold several sets of these in the past. Sometimes um, there's a lot of them listed, but sometimes you just kind of hang on and eventually they will sell. So I have a set of three listed right now and I found this one single glass and I thought this is the perfect opportunity to add a fourth and then hopefully it'll sell. So I picked this up. The funny thing is, is this last weekend, I went to a garage sale and there was a set of four with the pitcher. And I'm like, so now I'm struggling on, should I just, I think I'm going to do the f set of four and then the set of four with the pitcher instead of doing the pitcher and eight. Um, because the shipping on the pitcher and eight would, I'm already like, the shipping on the pitcher and four is going to be crazy. So I think I'll keep them separated, but I will add this one to my set of three that's already listed. I'll just redo the pictures. Um, these are vintage Libby, but I have found that they do not have the Libby symbol. Um, it, all of the ones I found, I have found never have the Lib Libby symbol. So I don't really advertise them as being Libby since they're unmarked, but I usually will put in the description. I believe these are Libby, um, but they are unmarked. And so I just include that. So definitely it needs wash. It's kind of nasty, but anyway, I was glad to find that cause I, yeah, like I said, I only have the three. The rest I think is clothes. Yes, the rest is clothes. So this is just an old navy piece. It's really nice though. It's an extra, extra large. It's a um, go dry and it's just a zip up jacket. This is kind of the perfect weather for this. And I don't know that I'll list this online. Um, I'll either sell it in my flea market booth. I'm kind of, I've kind of stopped putting Old Navy online. Um, I say that, but then I just sold an Old Navy piece. <laughs> it was new with tags. I feel like if it's new with tags or if it's something significant, like a, a pair of overalls 
or something, it does pretty well. But um, for the most part, Old Navy does not bring a, you know, a big profit or anything by any means. I also thought about doing a athletic um, whatnot show. So I might hang on to this until I get enough pieces to do my that show. So I haven't really decided yet. The next piece is a Life is Good. This is one of those bread and butter brands that you're probably only gonna get eight to 10 bucks. You might list it for $12.99 or something, but you're not gonna get much. It is a size large, um, and I thought it was funny, quarantini, life is good. So clearly this is probably from 2020, but I just didn't, I just couldn't leave it. Um, I thought it was kind of funny, but anyway, someone might find that amusing. And it's probably also going to go in my booth. So this is just a plain homemade tie-dye shirt. And truthfully, I loved it. <laughs> I, I might just keep it for me. Um, and then I thought, you know, I could do a tie-dye show and whatnot too. Um, people do love tie-dye. And whoever did this did a pretty good job. So I cannot um, see a tag anymore. There's not a tag, but to me, it's like it's a men's extra large or maybe an XXL. Um, so I just went ahead and grabbed it. So not quite sure. I might keep it for myself. I don't know. This I got for my flannel show. I have told you guys in the past when I do craft fairs during um, the winter time, I, last year, I took a whole bunch of flannels. I sold out. I only marked them for five bucks a piece. And it was kind of like a last ditch effort just to get rid of inventory before the new year. Well, I did so well. I thought, man, if I can go to these bag sales and my cost of goods is a dollar or less, maybe, um, definitely less than two bucks, and I'm flipping them for five, like, I'm still making a profit. Um, I have room to keep them. Um, so I thought, I don't know that I'm going to be able to do a craft fair this year, which I'm really bummed out just with my schedule. But I really thought, okay, well, maybe I'll just kick off my whatnot with a whatnot flannel show. And so I, I have been picking them up still. So this one is just a Walmart brand. It's the time and true it's a woman's extra small, um, but it it still has like a like a new tag, and it looks new. And the colorway is awesome for Christmas time for sure. So I'm just gonna wash this up and put it with my flannel bin, and then just kind of make a decision on what I want to do. These are a pair of new with tag um, loft size 14 they're the slim pants slim through the leg pants they still have the tags on them and they're nice career pants um truthfully if i was still in corporate world i would definitely have kept these um just a nice pair of they say slim they kind of look just like a straight fit but they've got like this nice pattern on them. Really nice for the winter time. So I'm gonna get these listed. And then this is that I've sold it before. I never know how to say it, but it's a Zanana, Zanana. It's a boutique brand and there is a following on this. Um, this is just a long sleeve jersey knit kind of knee length dress. This always fits a little oversized. I loved the color for the fall. And so I need to get this posted. Now these won't bring you a whole lot. Um, usually anywhere between 10 to $20, this brand. So I'm just gonna kind of get it listed. That's in really great condition. And then my last piece from this, this thrift store is this vintage. I love vintage. Um, I love selling vintage. I just think it's fun. And this 
<laughs> looks like a brand new skirt and shirt. It's Willie of California, made in the USA. This is a size 12, machine washable. It's 100% polyester. It's a line, like midi skirt. Yeah, it's midi. Lined midi skirt with pastels. And it has its own top, which has got the shoulder pads. Like this does not even look worn, you guys. And um, someone, someone has to buy this, right? It's just, it's, they have to buy this. I mean, would I wear it? No, but there are definitely a lot of people that love these vintage pieces, so. And I just couldn't leave it behind because even though it's very vintage, it like looks not even worn. The elastic is still great. Anytime you do get something with elastic, especially vintage, always do the test. And if it's bad, when you pull it, you're gonna hear like you're gonna hear it just rip and stay. Um, but the elastic is good on this one. So let's see, this bag cost me $10. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have 10 pieces. I'm counting these two as a set. Um, so my cost of goods was a dollar each on all of these items. So that's perfect. I love to be at a dollar each or even, even less than that. So I'm gonna put those glassware in the sink so I can wash them up. All right, and then the next thrift store, I got two bags and the bags were $10 a piece. I am gonna show you, I got a few hard goods there. You guys know I craft and they have these vintage laces and pom-poms vintage so i bought these for three dollars a piece since i'm a crafter sewer I'm, i need to get back into my sewing um i kind of it's been a while since i've sewn and then i am probably gonna make a little craft with this it's a dollar now this has been split and re-glued um it's got a chip on this side but it was only a dollar and i thought it would be fun to kind of make something with that and then how could i resist this was so cute someone took this and painted this little pumpkin with flower arrangement and it was 50 cents it was right as soon as i walked in the door and i was like yes please i think i'm just gonna put that up in my booth so it's really cute but that's the hard goods i got and then I got these two bags of clothes. So I spent 20 bucks on all of this. They were doing a whole bunch of kids clothes and I am not a kids clothes person, but you know, I will pick it up, especially if it's a good piece. Um, if it's a piece I can sell in my booth now that I have, I have put some kids clothes in my booth. So yeah, and this was so pretty for the winter time. It is a fur shawl from Oshkosh. Yeah, Oshkosh. Um, just a fur little shawl. Isn't that cute? Now it does have, like this is sewn right here. This is sewn. So there, it does have the armholes. So it's more like a cardigan, I guess. Um, and it's lined, but it's Oshkosh. It is... 18 months and I did notice like there's a stain on it so I gotta try and wash this out but I kind of flicked it when I bought it and um it's kind of just like a crusty a dried crusty stain so it's polyester so I can definitely machine wash it it says hang to dry so this was from Target from 2018 but this is one of those pieces I don't feel like goes out of style. It's super cute. So I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Um, so I found a couple little boys flannels. So I thought, well, if I'm doing a why not show with flannels, I might as well get little kids flannels. So this is a little boys for tea. 
And then this is one of those fleece lined um, flannels and it's a faded glory from Walmart. It's a 24 months, but isn't that cute? Um, and then I ha I got one more flannel. I think this is all the flannels I got. And this one is an Old Navy, the classic shirt. It is an extra large. It is black and white. So, um, good, good size. So I'm gonna add that in there, wash them up and add them. Then, this is a twin six, which I believe is a mountain bike um, brand. It's a 12 to 18 months. My husband and I, I don't mountain bike like I used to, but I have a mountain bike and we go. I'm kind of a sissy. I'm in my 40s, so I don't want to break anything. So I don't like to go downhill. <laughs> I don't like big rocks, so I've become a sissy as I've gotten older, but um, anyway, I'm pretty sure that's mountain bike, and a uh, big ring bike pub, bike pub, king of the mountain, yeah, so this is just like, it'd be great for a little mountain biking family, um, 12 to 18 months, so I'm gonna have to look that up. I bought it because I saw that logo and I was like, oh, this is mountain biking. Um, okay, this I just thought was hilarious and I I actually thought of my sister when I bought this. It is a, it says 3X. Um, these canvas shirts, you know, they can fit a little bit um, tighter, but I'm, <laughs> if you can read that, I just thought it was funny for Halloween, so. Anyway, don't, please don't judge me. Um, I got this Nike men's tank. It's a dry fit, size large, is in great condition. Just a dry, uh, like a running tank. I got this Joy Lab, which is Target, and it's a size small, sports bra. This brand does have a following, and I actually have another Joy Lab. I, th I think it's a Joy Lab. It's from Target. It's a size small, and I think I'm gonna pair these up. They seem to do better if you have them paired. Um, this I bought because it was new. I have not looked up anything on it. It's CC by Cynthia Street, I think is what it, no, by Cynthia Steffe, Steffe. I don't know, you guys probably, I don't know if you can even read that. But it's from Dillard's. I recognized this. And it was on their clearance, which like their first clearance was down to $71. Their second clearance was down to $41. And so it probably just someone bought it on a clearance and it literally set. But the MSRP on it is $119. And the style of it Trying to get to the style of it. Jubilee Gems Color Rich Black. It's the Jubilee Gems. And it's just a like a peplum style, metallic-y. Great for, I think this would be great for like the winter for Christmas parties, um, for different holiday parties. It's very pretty. It's brand new. Has a, has a little bit of sequence pieces here and there on it but I just think it was so cute. So I picked that up. This is a comfy jumpsuit, cropped leg, wide leg jumpsuit. And this is from the brand Anybody. And I have sold this brand before. It sells actually pretty good. Now you're not gonna make a killing on it, but um, it's just one of those cozy brands that sell. And the ones I had were plus, and this is extra small tall, but I, I'm an extra large y'all. So look how oversized this is. Um, it's very oversized and it's very cute. So hopefully, and it's cropped on me, but probably on a small, extra small girl it's not going to be 
um, unless she's tall. That was kind of an assuming comment, which a lot of a lot of extra small girls are petite, but not always. Okay, so if you're in the tall category, I did not mean anything by that. <laughs> I just meant <laughs> most of them are shorter than me, but very few are tall. Um, but it's very cute, just black. And so I, I thought I'd take a chance since I was buying a bag anyway. This is a black cardigan sweater from The Gap. I just sold a men's um, very nice cable knit Gap sweater. I think it sold for like $21.60. And I haven't decided if I want to keep this or not. <laughs> I stuck it in here because it was really nice, but then I thought, I don't think I have a black cardigan sweater and that one is super nice. So it might be staying home with me. Um, and then the last item in this bag is just a nice, I, I did not know this brand, Studio West. It might be just a boutique brand, I'm not sure, but it is just a nice little, it's kind of got a smocked um, top. I don't know if you can see this or not. Nice little summer spring dress. It's all black. Um, it's lined, which I like. And it's midi length. It's a size large. So I don't know about posting that online. I'll have to look it up. I am not familiar with that brand, so. Here's another little kid's piece, and it is, it is an Old Navy, and it's overalls, and it's got a little patchwork detail here, and this is a 6 to 12 months, so very cute. I will probably post that online. Anytime you find overalls, just pick them up. Even the vintage ones sell well. This is a vintage, is it vintage Hakes? I've sold some overalls from this um, from this company before. These are a vintage size 16W, and they have been. I think all of these this stuff was added to them. I'm not quite sure. It looks like these American flags were added, and then let me show you the bottoms. Look at those. I can't tell. I can't tell if it's if it's been added or not. But very cute. The last pair I sold from that brand was it a dress or overalls? But I think I sold it for like twenty-eight to thirty dollars. So not bad. Not bad at all. Now this was I thought really pretty. It's Talbot's. It's a size 12 and it is a wrap dress. Look at that. It's midi length. Let's see if you can see it. I think it's gorgeous. The sleeves are kind of an open sleeve or um, kind of an oversized. I don't know. I love this. I, it is an older Talbot's tag, but man, I really, I can really see this selling well. So Give that a try. And then this is, it's like a faux suede fill. And it's the limited collection. It is a 2X. I do not, I don't think the limited is in, the limited went out of business, right? Express is still in business, but I don't think the limited is still in business. Um, so it's the limited 2X. And it's a brown, suede um, knee length dress. Yeah, it's knee length. So this zip up the back, you see that kind of like faux, almost has like a microfiberish. it's faux, faux suede. It's lined. Imagine this with a tall pair of boots, with a hat, um, a cardigan, great for the fall. Um, I just, I thought it was really pretty. So I, it might not bring much, um, because of course it's a mall brand, but you know, sometimes, sometimes. 
And then, you know, here I go saying I'm not going to pick up Old Navy. <laughs> but how can you, like, leave this kind of stuff? This is a size extra large, and it's just a gray jumpsuit. It's one of those sporty jumpsuits. And truthfully, I want to try this for myself. They've got wide legs. Um, I just... I just think it's really cute. So let's see how many I got. So the two bags cost me $20. There's one, two, three. Some of this stuff took up some room. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 17. So a little bit over a dollar each. And I'm very happy with that. Like nothing, none of this is gonna like get me rich, okay? None of this is going to even, you know, very, a few pieces might bring me over 20 bucks. But, um, you know, I, I left feeling defeated. Like I didn't find any, you know, big items. Cause I've been really trying to focus on like my sales price increasing and finding higher quality items um, that will bring me a better sales price. But anyway, sometimes it is what it is and you can get what you get and you don't throw fit. <laughs> and that is exactly what I did. So anyway, um, thanks for joining and bless you all. Have a great week. If you stay till the end, Leave me a comment, just an emoji, and let me know how your cells are going. Mine are doing pretty good, and I will see you next time.